Welcome back, everybody. It's the What's Cooking Show, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. Eric Joseph, Eric Hines, the Power V Squared is on the air. And right now we're poised and pleased and honored to have Brett Chapin and Nettie Liddell in studio from La La Land heard on CRN Digital Talk here. And uh, hey, guys, just want to say hello and good day to you. First yeah. of all, <laughs> thanks for having us on. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the show La La Land for those of us who have been sleeping under a rock here at CRN. Well, La La Land um, is a show by Los Angeles artists about Los Angeles artists. We uh, bring on artists from the community and talk to them about what they're doing uh, with their work and what they've done in the past, and um, just basically have a have a great conversation with them. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. You know, I'm a, I've been born and raised in Southern California and um, sometimes take for granted some of the really cool kind of uh, stuff we have here in SoCal as far as theater and arts and everything else. And, you know, my wife's into theater and arts. And to be honest with you, I did, probably didn't go to a play or any kind of live theatrical show until I was probably 23. To be honest with you, all these years I've lived in SoCal, never been to a show. And the first show I went to was a live stage performance of Guys and Dolls. And that was Ooh. that changed my life. I got to tell you right now, uh, very cool. Uh, the music and everything else, the attitude of the of the players really got me into the theater show. And so that kind of kicked off my interest. And so from then, it kind of became a quasi kind of uh, affair with theater. And your guys' show, you talk about this. You talk about artists, what they're doing, the, the, the live theatrical performance aspect of what people are doing. That's really cool stuff. Los Angeles in general, it doesn't have a lot of uh, different types of media um, covering uh, covering all of the, I mean, theater specifically, but I mean, all the, like um, Ch Chicago, New York, there was actually a big, a big thing about this, how they, they do more coverage of small theater and, and, and artists in Los Angeles. You don't really have that medium. So it's nice to be able to, to say that we are, you know, here to interrogate Los Angeles artists and, and, and question them about everything and, and, and find out what's going on in the city. Well, no, you made a good point. Definitely uh, New York, Chicago, uh, a lot of the major metros, they do have a, a huge um, kind of theater community that is very publicized. I mean, there's playbills. Everyone's getting circulated information about shows. Out here in SoCal, though, you're right. It's, you know, you might see a little ad in the LA Weekly at the bottom of the page. I mean, it's very hard to find out the cultural uh, live performance stuff that's going on. You guys are exposing that. Now, do you guys only cover Southern California or no. touch the whole touch the whole region California California yeah yeah we're, we're basically uh, about Los Angeles artists but um, you know I'd, I'd say that we we cover other areas as well we do we cheat. We, well not yeah. necessarily I mean it's it's all it's a uh, what like get uh, guess special guests and stuff okay so sure. you guys talk to you know everybody basically as far as but you really do focus on la centric theater now um is it is it kind of hard to to get a hold of some of these guys i mean i know with the theater schedules people are real busy you know tech week i mean they're working eight ten hours a day on their shows is it hard to wrangle some of these people in to talk about their stuff they're doing yeah yeah it can be very very difficult um but let me tell you that there aren't lack of artists in Los Angeles and you can always find uh, amazing amazing people you know that you would never like a John Clayton a jazz musician who wow um, yeah we just I saw uh, my dad saw him at Vitello's last night and was like he should come on I'm thinking oh my gosh you'd think he'd be so busy but you know what they're just all around the court Los Angeles is booming with artists and you'd be amazing that would be amazing to, to, yeah. That's really awesome. Now, I know that you, know, you guys are both involved in theater as well, right? Are you performers, yeah. Yeah. both stage performers? And how did you get involved, Brett, with uh, the live theater? What kind of got you inspired? Um, well, I've, I've wanted to be uh, an actor since I was a little kid. And uh, I just started getting involved when, when I was 9 or 10 years old. And um, all through high school, came out to Los Angeles about 10 years ago. And um, it's gone from there. So you followed the dream. You kind of had this, you got bit by the bug and said, I'm just going to go with it. And um, from there, you got involved in theater. And then now to do the show, I mean, doing this show where you're actually talking to other artists. Mm -hmm. Really cool stuff. Now, how about yeah. you, Nettie? Tell me your kind of backstory. Yeah, uh, I started in um, the industry, uh, the industry meaning, you know, like film and television, around five and five or six years wow. of age. After shortly after I learned how to speak. Nice, <laughs> um, that's really cool. <laughs> no, Prodigy. Yeah. Um, but I, I just knew, you know, by the time college rolled around, that I, you know, didn't really. I'm not, I wasn't going to go into rocket science. You know what I mean? It was like, okay, pretty much, now I'm going to do this. 
and um, it's it's what I love. Well, now I know I'm going to share something with you guys that we all kind of probably have in common is the naysayers. I know that uh, I'm a musician, uh, and growing up, you know, I said I wanted to do this. I want to be a music, musician. I wanted to, you know, and everybody, including my parents, no, 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 no. You got to go to school. You got to become a rocket scientist. You got to get involved in aerospace. That's the real jobs. Well, now, I mean, we're looking at the economy. It's flipped upside down. You're seeing that these guys that back in the days had this quote unquote good jobs are on the unemployment line, and people that are artists actually putting out a product every day. Day, we're the ones that are flourishing now. So, I mean, how, what do you say to all these people that gave you a hard time growing up and saying, you don't do that, it's a waste of your time? Say it. everything that people said to me, you know, go with your heart, live your dream. If you know what, if you're not happy, it's, it's, life is so short. It's over just like that. What's the point? Absolutely. Great. It's interesting, advice. too, because we talk to a lot of actors from different areas of the country wanting to come out to LA and, and pursue their dreams, as you know, and as much as. We want to tell them to become rocket scientists. Um, you know, they, they're coming out here and they're making their dreams come true. So uh, we encourage that. That being said, yeah. <laughs> if there's anything you can find that you love other than, you know, entertaining, you would be really dumb not to do it because it is the most competitive industry in the world. You brought up a great point. Very, very competitive. Um, I mean, it's not so much like a backstabbing kind of competition, but it's just best man win. And there's a lot of people out there trying to do what we're trying to do. So many talented artists yeah. in LA. We're learning that on the show. Certainly Absolutely. can be backstabbing. Certainly. Can it oh, really? Oh, oh boy. A little snarky uh, kind of oh. attitudes and everything a else. A lot of snarky. Wow. Yeah. So now, what about auditions? When people are going to auditions, I myself have never been to audition. I've been an, an extra, you know? I got my yes. 60 bucks a day for yes. watching America's Funniest Home Videos. Oh. But, um, I mean, for, for when you're going out for a real audition, what is that like? I mean, what's the experience, kind of the, the vibe that you get from the other players? I mean, what's going on? Basically, you walk into, like, a room of, like, 70 people who look exactly like you. Oh, no. Oh, wow. And you can hear them through the door. They usually sound like uh, that's my experience. Brett, what about you? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it gets easier, though. I think it's uh, the more you do it. And, uh, you know, because I, I know I was so nervous. My knees were shaking at my first audition. But, oh, I you can know, imagine. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think the more you do it, the more used to it, um, you uh, the more used to it you get. It's a little bit yeah, easier. The, the trick is you got to not want you got to pretend like you know, you don't want it. You know, okay. they, they never want you. If, yeah. You know, you want if you seem desperate. Right. You go in there. And you yes, know. Yes. Yeah. I get now, it. You're like, eh. With, yeah. with the auditions, is that where the backstabbing really kind of comes into play? Because oh. I, I could imagine everyone else trying to get the same uh, oh, same yeah. part, just like, Burr. right. You know, is that where the backstabbing kind of comes into play there? Oh, definitely. It's a lot of negative energy, a lot of you know, a lot of looks, a lot of a lot. You know, it just sizing you up, kind of sizing checking you, you out. up. Yeah, sure, sure. You know, I mean, everybody wants the part so bad. You know, it's like everybody wants to be the the waitress who you know says, "Here you go, sir," to Robert De Niro. Yeah, of you course. know what I mean? Yeah, I everybody wants for to that do part. it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> And and yeah, you 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 can only imagine the hours of well, now now of course you know once once you've been established and you kind of know the players, you've been to auditions, you see some of the same faces over and over again. I mean, do you kind of create a camaraderie with some of these guys after a while? It's a small world. Be it's careful a very small who world. you who, uh. who you make angry. Uh oh, shall I say? Uh oh, we got to find out more about that, guys. We're talking with the Brett Chapin and Eddie Liddell from La La Land, heard here on CRN Digital Talk Radio. When we come back, we're going to talk more about the show. Also, take your calls, 800-336-2225, 800-336-2225. We'll be back. It's the What's Cooking Show, nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. I almost forgot. That was my tagline. It's a weekend edition, too. I'm telling you. Here you go, guys. Too much to drink last night. Hey, we'll be back right after this. Has your 